Great. Uh, good afternoon, folks. Uh, my name is Aaron Viles. I'm the chair of Progress Kentucky. Uh, welcome to today's press conference. Uh, so our plan for the next 20 minutes or so, really a quick introduction of who Progress Kentucky is, talk a little bit about what we're doing today, specifically our concern about the Bashir impeachment initiative. And we are going to hear from Emma Latta, uh, whose petition generated the vast majority of the signatures that we are delivering today. We'll hear from Doug Price, some concerns about the transparency and impartiality of the process with some significant qu questions about a specific lawmaker. Uh, I'll then send the joint petition to the House Impeachment Committee and we'll take your questions. So uh, it should be relatively quick uh, and we'll let you get back to other news that I'm sure you're covering at the, in the, at the legislature. So a little bit about Progress Kentucky. We are an all volunteer organization working to educate uh, and engage voters and promote progressive reforms at the state and federal levels. Uh, progressive activists in central Kentucky initially organized as the Mitch McConnell Retirement Committee focused on the 2020 election. And we've now expanded our efforts and relaunched as Progressive Kentucky, or Progress Kentucky, sorry. Central to our work is a communications and organizing strategy to help connect the dots between Republican-led policies which harm our state while explicitly advocating for progressive policy solutions to advance our commonwealth. We host a weekly live stream, Kernels of Truth, every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern time on Facebook, which is available afterwards on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and most other podcasting platforms. So feel free to check it out. Through our live stream and podcasting efforts and our boots on the ground organizing projects, Progress Kentucky is building a larger more informed and involved community of change makers in our commonwealth. Progress Kentucky is a nonprofit organization registered with the Kentucky Secretary of State and organized as a 501c4 affiliated with the Indivisible Project and the Commonwealth Alliance Voter Engagement or CAVE. So what are we doing today? Why do we call a press conference? We are here today because the Kentucky State Legislature seems to be seriously considering a bogus effort to impeach Governor Andy Bashir. Uh, and jeopardize our health and well-being. The effort to impeach Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir is being pursued by a handful of radical individuals who've previously tried to threaten and intimidate our governor as he's worked hard to address the coronavirus pandemic and keep our commonwealth safe. He has done this effectively while balancing the needs of businesses, schools, and public health uh, guidelines. Despite previous legal challenges, the rules and orders implemented by Governor Bashir been consistently upheld by the state Supreme Court. Additionally, his efforts have been successful. Our Commonwealth is on the right track with a decreasing test positivity rate, decreasing hospitalizations, greatly increasing vaccinations, and an overall mortality rate and level far below those of our neighboring states. His strong leadership has even been recognized nationally as he was recently named the co-chair of the National Governors Association Task Force on Economic Recovery. Progress Kentucky believes the impeachment efforts has been a distraction from Governor Bashir's critical efforts to keep us safe and to manage the Commonwealth's economy and public health rules and guidance. That's why we launched our petition to the House Impeachment Committee, urging them to put partisan politics aside and to reject this bogus effort immediately. Uh, I would now like to bring in Emma Latta, an Owensboro resident who started the first biggest petition in opposition to the impeachment effort. Emma? Hi, everyone. I started the petition back, I think, in March. It, I'm surprised how much it has grown. Like, I think last time I checked, 28,000 signatures. I started the petition because I felt that the legislature should be doing more to help the people of Kentucky than try to impeach a governor who has proven that his policies work. The legislature should be focused on fixing the unemployment situation they kind of created under Bevan. They should be focused on getting small businesses back up and going again and providing assistance to their needs and they should also be focused on helping people who have lost everything because of the fact that they've lost their jobs and have nowhere else to turn to for help. The legislature, by doing what it's doing, 
is not helping any Kentucky succeed at all in providing any kind of help. Uh, thank you so much, Emma. Thanks for your work. And that's right, over 28,000 uh, signatures on that petition. We've got very, very close to 30,000. It's 29,994 signatures. I was very hopeful we would hit 30,000 signatures, but uh, didn't quite do it yet. So uh, if you're watching this and you've not signed the petition, please go to it and sign it. We can get there at 30,000, maybe in the final you know, minutes before we send it off. But now I want to bring in uh, Doug Price uh, to talk a bit about uh, what he has been uh, finding. Hi, I'm Doug Price, um, treasurer of Progress Kentucky. And uh, I have a monthly or a segment titled Doug Price is right on the kernels of truth. And lately my research has been on the impeachment effort and here's an update that's pertinent to our discussion today. Recently, one of the House impeachment committee members recused herself from deliberations and votes on the Bashir impeachment due to a conflict of interest. Based on this action, we believe committee member Felicia Rayborn should recuse herself from any discussions on the Bashir impeachment petition. We reviewed her personal and campaign Facebook pages and found several instances where in our minds she indicated a personal bias toward Governor Bashir. The most egregious statement made was that she went to a rally in Frankfurt and joined a great lineup of speakers. We were there advocating for small businesses, religious freedom, schools, and liberty. Thank you, Brood, for hosting this event on the steps of our beautiful capital. The owner of Brood is Andrew Cooperrider, who is one of the Bashir impeachment petitioners. Also, Mr. Cooperrider has posted on his Facebook page that he supports Rayborn's efforts on an unrelated bill. We believe that Mrs. Rayborn should remove herself from any of the Bashir impeachment deliberations, and we will send an email to her and copy the chair of the committee. Apparently, that's the only way you can remove anybody from this committee, you have to remove yourself. The committee cannot remove you, the chair cannot remove you. Uh, it's up to the person to make that decision about who gets removed. Um, additionally, here's a Facebook post by Chairman Nemus. It starts out, sorry to post on this twice in one day, but this is outrageous. Attaches the first page of a letter from the governor concerning vaccinations. The governor says the biggest problem is we have is with the number of doses that we had to give out. Yet we are giving them teachers who aren't going to school. And he goes on to complain about that. And his last statement there is this is an absolute scandal, if you ask me. Saving lives comes first. I pose the question should Nemes recuse himself on deliberations? of the impeachment committee. After reading this post, several of his Facebook friends posted that he should hurry up and impeach Bashir or words to that effect. Progress Kentucky will send the impeachment committee a letter with some of this information and we will ask that this letter be made a part of the official record of the committee. And that's my report. report. Uh, great. Thank you so much, Doug. Uh, thanks for raising those issues. Uh, and now I am going to just transmit our joint petition, um, which, you know, if we were doing this in person, it'd be a very impressive stack. Uh, it's a 600 plus page document of all the supporters uh, that have, uh, have signed on to these two petitions, uh, urging the legislature to reject this bogus impeachment effort. Uh, but what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just uh, send the email uh, to to the um, House Impeachment Committee, and I don't think there is. Hold on a second there. Hey, there we go. Um, so it's a the document is attached here, uh, asking them to reject the Bashir impeachment. It is to all the members of the House Impeachment Committee. 
uh, and it is from Progress Kentucky and, and Emma Latta. So uh, let's, you're sending it off and there it goes. You don't need to look at my inbox. So I'm gonna stop this share. <laughs> Unless you want to be outraged by how many unread messages there are. Uh, all right. So uh, just documentation. We sent off the petition. Uh, we had intended to uh, hold this press conference in advance of their hearing. Uh, but uh, as you guys know, if you're trying to cover the state house, they move their committee hearings around a lot of times. They don't give you a lot of notice. So when we had picked this date and time uh, on Friday, this was well in advance of when they would be going into session. But then they announced uh, this morning or yesterday evening that they'd be going into uh, that session at two, I guess. So they're now uh, in session considering uh, what's happening. Uh, and I hope that, you know, this is information that they will uh, that will take to heart, that the public is uh, outraged by this distraction and that it's been a very um, just inconsistent effort in terms of, uh, you know, transparency uh, and bias. Uh, and we, again, hope that they reject the, the, uh, the effort uh, immediately and get back to business. So that is um, that's pretty much all I've got. I want to see if there are any questions. If you do have questions, feel free to unmute and, uh, and we'll respond to them. We, yeah, uh, I see... A few folks, I'm not sure if they're media or not. I know Spectrum News One, that strikes me as a media outlet. Uh, if Spectrum News One has any questions, feel free to answer, uh, ask them at this time. All right, or Justin Roth. Oh, Doug, Doug Price has a question. Doug. Uh, I just wanna mention this. We did invite the all of the committee members to this presentation. We had one committee member to respond, uh, Representative Ed Massey. And just as a side note, during the, uh, uh, the meeting today that started at a little bit after two and adjourned at about five minutes later to go into executive session, uh, Mr. Massey had received a notification from Jacob Clark, I believe, who I believe is also one of the Bashir petitioners along with the Andrew Cooper writer. Uh, Jacob Clark had asked Massey to recuse himself and Massey refused to recuse himself. Uh, we do have a question in the comments. What are the next step? What's the next step for progress Kentucky regarding the impeachment? Uh, it's a good question. I think we will, um, you know, as be beyond delivering the petition, we'll follow up with those, um, the members of the committee directly to ask them, you know, make sure they'd received it uh, and make sure they'd heard our, our request. Uh, also, we will uh, ask uh, for the recusal uh, of, of one representative uh, as well so that we can you know, if it's up to the representatives themselves as to whether they will recuse or not, uh, we will make sure that Felicia Rayburn uh, hears from us directly that we are requesting her to uh, recuse herself in the decisions about uh, Governor Bashir's impeachment specifically. Uh, we, we also, um, you know, we think that the impeachment committee, uh, the standing impeachment committee now needs to examine the Dan Cameron impeachment request a little more closely. Uh, because I, you know, in in this effort, we that effort, we very much stand with uh, with Brianna's jurors uh, who are concerned about what Dan Cameron did, and we think there needs to be a full investigation of that behavior. Uh, if there are other, if there are media questions uh, or other questions, feel free to unmute yourself and ask them at this time. At this time. All right. Any final thoughts, Doug or Emma? All right, I guess that's a no. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much. I promised it would be done in you know half an hour. We did it in half the time. So uh, go ahead and enjoy the rest of your, your free 15 minutes. Uh, but thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for your support of our efforts. Please do check out Progress Kentucky on Facebook. Uh, we will be going live tonight at seven o'clock 
for our uh, weekly live stream, Kernels of Truth. Very exciting episode. We're going to have uh, uh, our, our guest, Robert Connie from uh, my old Kentucky podcast. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, so come back here, uh, Facebook Live at 7 p.m. for that show. And uh, have, a, have a wonderful afternoon.